What is going on, guys? It is so good to have you guys back this week. I'm Peter, and I'm here along with Dustin. We are the Bachelors in the City. Uh, last week's episode was awesome. I think we uh, we definitely learned something from from Lindsay. Uh, I was super super stoked to have her on. Uh, something cool this week that I want to tell you guys about. We just recently launched our new member program, and if you want to take advantage of that, you can click on the link in our show description. You will get access for three dollars a month to ad free versions of the show. For five dollars a month, you will get access access to some bonus content, including Bachelorette, Bachelor, Bachelor in Paradise, recaps, all that good stuff here in our perspective. So definitely take advantage of that if it's something you think you might like. Swear Jar update. We uh, we told you guys about that last week. It's officially kicked off this week. So keep count uh, of which one of us, it's probably gonna be Dusty, uh, but which one of us hits 100 100 swears first. We're going to do that. 100 swears. And uh, we want to hear from you guys about what punishment um, the loser, aka Dusty, should have to do. Um, check our Instagram on Friday for the tally. And uh, you guys are going to be picking the uh, punishment. So get creative. But today's episode, I, uh, I'm stoked to bring it to you guys. Um, we are bringing on Victoria Justice. Uh, she is a long, long time friend of mine. We go way back. Uh, we are going to dive into uh, where and how our friendship started. But a lot of you guys may know her as Tori Vega from the hit Nickelodeon show, Victorious. Um, she's a singer and a performer. She got a new song out. Too fucking nice. It's fucking good. I'm adding to the swear jar, but it's okay because it's for Vic. Uh, so without further ado, though, you guys are going to enjoy this. Uh, she's an absolute just sweetheart. Um, you're going to fall in love with her. My, my good, good friend, Victoria Justice. So let's get into it. I feel like I'm in a flight simulator or something on this thing. Like, it feels very... <laughs> Welcome to the flight simulator, known as Bashers in the City. It is so good to have you here, Vic. It's so good to be here. I'm so excited that we're doing this. Nice to meet you, finally. I've heard... Oh, my gosh. I can't believe this is the first time you guys it's... are meeting, yeah. Likewise. I first heard about you through Barb. Barb was just talking you up. Like, I was like, who is Mom's this Mom's a big girl? fan Barb of Victoria. Was about. <laughs> She's a huge fan. Huge fan. <laughs> She's like, you guys would look great together. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hook it up, Barb. Shit. <laughs> wow, look at Dusty oh already <laughs> shooting his shot. You wasted no time. I'm not, I'm Dude, just, we're, I'm not, just, we're not even to the runway yet, okay? Hold your horses. Like my, Barb is Barb will it. always be my wing woman. So, anyways, yeah, let's let's get into this, guys. Yeah. First of all, how'd you guys meet? Let's hear this. I guess everyone's confused and wondering, like, how'd you guys meet each other? How are you guys friends? All that's good stuff. We, we go way yeah. back. Yeah. So Peter and I have history together. We go way, way back. Um, we're, bo we're both from Florida. Um, and so we met back there, back in the day, in like the child modeling commercial circuit back in the day. <laughs> and so, um, weird times, weird times, but it was fun. I, I feel like the first, the story that your mom tells is that we were on a kids R us shoot and she remembers like seeing me and my sister and then you were there and I don't know. And then cut to years kids later, R us back in the day. I remember that. Yeah. Way back in the day. And then, and then our moms became friends and then we all decided to go do LA together. Yep. Um, for me, like to pursue acting and whatnot and do that whole thing. And so me, my mom, and then you and your mom, we all lived in a two bedroom apartment together in Studio City. We were the OG roommates, Dusty. So the OG. Wow. Way, we way, were way OG. And I remember <laughs> we, it was that was a blast. I remember that summer we all went out. We my mom and I, we were up like on the loft area. You got you and your mom were downstairs in the apartment. Yeah. And um yeah, I just remember it was an awesome time. I remember going like we were young. We were how old? We were like ten or eleven. We were young. Yeah, I think I was like ten. I think you were maybe twelve. Okay, that's right. And Something um, I, like that. I have some fun. I remember like I remember your first your first your first job you ever booked. I remember the script being delivered like vividly. Um, for really, it was, it was for um for the Gilmore, Gilmore Girls. Girls. Gilmore Girls, yeah, yeah. And, uh, I remember that that sticks out. I remember we had like had that park that we went to. We were always obsessed with. We were super competitive with each other. We were yes, I definitely remember that. We were very competitive. 
there was a lot of competitive energy. Wow. So you, you guys <laughs> grew up together. In some ways, yeah. I mean, like, especially during that period of time, we were together all the time. We all lived together. And so we were just always doing like, you know, we would like audition here and there. I remember I went with you, Peter, to, I think it was like your first audition. Like, I think it was the day that we landed in LA or something like that, yeah. crazy like that. And at it was like for all that or something. Yes, it was at, at Nick oh. on Sunset, where yeah. I would eventually be filming my show Victorious like years later. Crazy but I remember going to this audition with you and then you had booked it, but then you couldn't do it because you like something about the paperwork or permit. something. Peter, you were going to be on all that. I I missed uh, my chance. I know. Uh, <laughs> I missed my. Uh, <laughs> oh my god! I used to love that show. Yeah, I, know. I remember Peter, being so bummed. What? I, what what I, the hell? It, it wasn't my fault. I, they wouldn't let me do it without. I remember. Yeah, I was like twelve or something. I needed a work permit, and I guess we didn't have time to do it. So, um, but yeah, I remember you guys Man. picked us yeah. up from the airport. We went straight there. And uh, Serena Reedy, so that's yeah. Victoria's mom. I love her mom. She's an absolute sweetheart. Um, My mom's the they, best. Yeah, we moved in together, lived there for the summer. We were super competitive. We'd always scare each other. We'd always pull pranks on each other. Yes, there's we lots younger. of that happening. I, I got Victoria yeah. good on a lot of occasions. That of hasn't occasions. changed. But Dude, you here, got me I got good. you the best. <laughs> I right. scared you so bad one time. Like I'm surprised I'm you giving you the, the, uh, the okay for this, but go ahead and tell the story. Okay, so <laughs> let's see. I like I kind of remember this, but I remember we would like we would like hide Your mom behind. Tells it well. My mom tells it very well. Um, we would hide behind, you know, like doors and stuff. And we had this game where we would just like whoever could scare each other the most. So we would just jump out at random times and just really try to intensely scare each other. And I remember Peter had gotten me pretty good. And I was like, okay, okay. And he was like, when are you going to get me, Vic? When are you going to get me? <laughs> and I was like, oh, Peter, you just wait, my friend. I'll get I you when you're... I was rubbing it in I will so get hard. You. She was playing the long game. Oh, so hard. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, Peter, I will get you when you're least expecting it. <laughs> and that is exactly what I did. I remember he was like in the upper loft in the bathroom or something. And I was like, this is my shot. It was like late at night. It was really quiet. He was not expecting it. And I like hid under the bed and he like turned off the bathroom light and walked out. And I like screamed really loudly and grabbed his ankle from underneath the bed. And I scared him so bad. I'm pretty sure he cried That's a little so bit. So bad. I apparently can't. I don't remember that. I think I must have just like erased that from my memory. But when your mom, you were I think you, wow. she told the story you did. back. I think you blocked like, it out. What? You were, and then, you were traumatized. Wow. I, I guess I started crying. I was so scared. And then my mom was like, yeah, you guys need to go downstairs. Like, he's not okay. And oh I... Oh, my God. Yeah, Your I know. mom was like, I think that's it for tonight. <laughs> how old were you, Peter? Peter, how old were you? Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, I was like 12, probably. 11 I, again, or 12, yeah. I don't, I don't have any recollection. I must have totally like, just erased it, but I... If, if, <sighs> Your mom said this would happen. I, I believe it. Um, I remember. Peter's yeah. like, Peter's not okay. <laughs> Dude, Peter's not he still okay. has Damn. some trauma that he's carrying around from that experience. Yeah. Jesus. yeah no, but scarring. we were, yeah, we were very competitive. We'd go to like Beeman Park together all the time and like I would, we would play on the rings and like hide underneath this sand turtle. We just did like a bunch of normal under, or yeah, kids We'd dig stuff. under, remember, and like go through it. Um, I remember getting ice cream yeah. there all the time. Are we still competitive in any way now? No. Well, no. We we still scare each other. We we uh, we just we we hung out and uh, and got together in Chicago and uh, brought a little bit of that back. Um, you got yeah, that was fun. Time? I did. <laughs> oh yeah. Do you remember Rody? Yes, I okay. totally remember Rody. So this is like probably one of that my funniest crazy. memories with Victoria. We um we were living there in Studio City, and my mom and I were at this restaurant called The Good Earth, and it's no longer there. We'd go. Oh, Earth, we'd the go Good there Earth. all the time. I was like our go-to. Oh yeah, place. I love the Good Earth. Um, and so, anyways, we're getting going to the restaurant, and we see this little white dog that's like across Ventura Boulevard, just running by himself. And we're huge dog lovers, so immediately we mm -hmm. skip breakfast, and we're like, we need to go get that dog. That dog just looks like it's like by itself. And so we like chase this dog through this neighborhood in Studio City. Um, finally, corner it. And like it's like in this like driveway with like a, a garage. Anyways, long story short, we got the dog. There was a couple that that was helping us get the dog. They after we got it and secured it, they were holding on to it. And then my mom and I were gonna go get breakfast and try to convince my dad to let us take the dog and keep the dog. So we do that, mm -hmm. get the okay from my dad, and everything. We go back to go pick up the dog from the couple they were keeping in their backyard. The dog's gone. 
he had escaped, gotten out. So at this point, my mom and I go and recruit Victoria and her mom. And we get them from the apartment. Yes. And we start driving. We're on a mission. We're going to find this dog. We finally got the okay from my dad. Everything's all good. We're driving through. Victoria and I get out of the it's car. It's like Mission Impossible. It was it truly like I remember this vividly. And we get out of the car. <laughs> it was really spot, intense. We spot the dog. And the dog had just like run to the front door of this house. And like our, our mom's park, like maybe six houses down. We get out of the car. We sprint together. Like, we'll be right back. We're going to get it. I remember running to the front door. The dog now sees us, is terrified, starts barking and like growling at us. And I remember I just like, in that moment, had no fear. I went down, I grabbed the dog as it's growling. I'm thinking it's going to bite me. I'm like, I'm going to get this. I'm going to get it. We sprint back. We see our moms who have then gotten out of the car. We're like, no, 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 go, 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 go. Because we literally just hijacked this dog from like this, this person's house. Like it wasn't our dog. And, <laughs> it was, but it was really like, crazy. It was like mangled and like you could tell it wasn't really taken care of. So we knew we were doing like a good, a good act. And then we take it back to the apartment. Yeah. Victoria and I get in the bathtub with this dog. Individually took fully off clothed. like a hundred and fully clothed. <laughs> fully, fully, we're, we're like t- <laughs> fully t- <laughs> thanks, thanks, <laughs> thanks, for, <laughs> thanks, for, <laughs> thanks for clarifying that. Weird. And we're twelve. No, okay, dog, calm down. That's a doggy <laughs> orgy. That's a doggy <laughs> orgy right there. We were twelve. <laughs> calm down. That wasn't the point. We literally then we got in. We got the flea medication, like shampoo, and it was infested with fleas and all that. And we start picking off all the fleas. And that you was guys the were in the bathtub with it. Yeah, where else are you going to do with all the I shampoo? I vaguely and- remember the bathtub part, but yeah. So you guys were just swimming in some flea infested yeah, dog we, water. We were, we were, we were helping right. out. It was Rhodey. And then we ended up naming him Rhodes Hill Slope <laughs> Weber the first, uh, because we found him on Rhodes and Hill Slope, uh, where we cornered him. That was the cross street. So I don't remember that was his full name. That's amazing. Really? Yeah. And he, uh, he ended up living for a while. He had a, he had a good life. Oh yeah. That was cool. I just remember like you and your mom were super spontaneous and we just had so many crazy fun adventures in the Valley. Just running remember around going to magic mountain all the time, kids. the amusement park. Yeah. It was fun. We were, like, Those are fun times. Junkies. We'd, we'd ride all the rides over and over and over. So good times. So we go, we go way back. Yeah. Okay. And then when we were in Chicago, it wasn't really competitive, but it, it kind of felt like old times because I remember you were teaching me how to ride a dirt bike. Yes. And <laughs> it was so funny because, well, Peter, like I had done this movie when I was 15 years old where I had learned how to ride a dirt bike. But this, okay, I was 15 years old. This is like years ago. I'm 28 right. now. I have not ridden a dirt bike in a very long time. And Peter <laughs> was like, oh, yeah, you could totally do this. I was like, okay, well, maybe you should just like give me a refresher course. He was like, yeah, 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 sure. So you literally like 10 minutes. You put that badass helmet on too. It was great. Oh, Peter. <laughs> don't really get me started with the helmet. Don't get me started with the helmet. I look like looking, the bit like good. Dustin, I looked like the biggest dweeb of all time. When I tell you, I was wearing a helmet that was like five times the size of my own head because I was so like, I don't know. And Peter had no helmet on. He was like super cool. I looked like I, I the biggest I posted the picture. <laughs> yeah. I think I remember this it. video. This video you guys posted on Instagram. I was... I was yes, confused. I did I'm not like, consent is, to this is... picture being posted, but I think it's hilarious in retrospect. <laughs> this is my friend Victoria. <laughs> She's... She can ride motorcycles now. No, but you yeah, did great. Exactly. I, remember, yeah, I gave you like a little crash course, how to work the bike and everything. And then we went for a ride. You took me down the most advanced trail of yeah, all time. Little, little, probably a little too aggressive with you on that. You were, yeah, you were probably a little too aggressive. It was so funny though, because... I was proud though. Like, yeah, it was going well and everything. And like, I had just learned like 10 minutes ago and we're like off and running and Peter's like, okay, like shift into second gear. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. And then he's like, okay, shift into third. And I'm like, okay. So we're like riding on this huge polo field and like, I'm slightly terrified, but it's really fun. And it was awesome. And then at one point, like, I remember I'm coming around this curve and I see like a giant pile of rocks and I'm like, okay, I'm going to need to redirect this bike immediately. (laughs) So I start to turn it and I'm like, oh my God, it's not turning. I'm like, okay, uh, I mean, brake, 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 brake. So I'm pressing the brake, but I'm actually pressing the clutch because I got confused. And so I'm the header at this time. I can't see her. I'm in front of her. (laughs) And then I crashed. (laughs) 
directly into the pile of rocks and just like <laughs> fell off my bike and he was like, Are you okay? I, I hear like this big yeah. crash, like this big boom. And then I look back and I see she's literally driven into this. She's like, it's like a five foot tall pile of, of rocks. And she had just got, she's <laughs> off the bike, like just like, you know, face down, like on, on um, completely just like off the bike. And I immediately, I freak out. I'm like, oh my God. Oh my God. Like, I, hope like, she's I like, killed I, her. I, I didn't know the, I just killed Victoria. <laughs> like, how am I going to explain this to her mom? <laughs> and, um, <laughs> I go back and she's like laughing and just like hilarious. And she's like a little scraped up. I'm like, all right, there's some battle scars. All right. You got some character now. And um, yeah, you were, right. you were yeah. a sport about it. Uh, a good sport. And then I took you yeah, down like a fun. advanced, very steep hill right after that. Wasn't really thinking, but. It was, before, so. it was crazy. It was so rocky and like this big slope and we were just like going for it. Yeah. But I, I held my own. Peter Weber <laughs> won to go zero to a hundred. Never, never. <laughs> <What>? Never. <laughs> <me>. Shocker. Never. <laughs> No, yeah. So just it's 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 been kind of cool to look back on. We've obviously we go way back. We've known each other for a while, and um, yeah. it's cool. We kind of reconnected again in the last couple of years um, from our, our childhood mm-hmm. connection, and it's, that's been really cool to you know, have that friendship. Yeah, know, respark. That's pretty cool. You know, like after us living in LA together, and then I stayed in LA, and then I think no, I think then we all went back, and then I eventually came back, and then you guys came back, and you were living somewhere else and you know like life happens and we get busy yeah. and we're all going to school and so we all sort of just lost touch and I think like I feel like our moms kind of remained in touch sporadically over the years but Peter and I had kind of like lost touch I hadn't talked to him forever yeah and then my mom and I love the bachelor and the bachelorette and so we're sitting down to watch the bachelorette one day Hannah Brown season and it's first episode and they're <laughs> introducing all the guys and then I see little Peter Weber's face on the screen. (laughs) And I actually freaked out. I like grabbed the remote and I was like, I was like, I feel like my exact words. I was like, oh my God, that is Peter fucking Weber. (laughs) I like could not believe it. I was like, what is happening? (laughs) It was so funny. And then, that's good. yeah. And then like our moms kind of like reconnected and then we all reconnected and went over lunch. And then it was, it was awesome. We went actually back to that restaurant we used to go to that was the good earth, but it was, we did, which is now Granville. Yeah. Granville. Peter, so let's talk about Victoria. Like, I'm sure that was, was that the, like the same for you, Peter, when you saw her like do like movies and TV shows and oh. all this? Like, was this like kind of just, especially as a kid, like being young, seeing her do all, like, I guess we we should give people like a rundown for people that might not know Victoria. I'm sure everyone does know her. But no, yeah, give them a rundown of everything she's, she's been in and done. Yeah, so Victoria mm. obviously has... um accomplished so much already in her uh, 28 years oh thanks peter victoria you guys probably know her um if you go way back with us from uh, tori vega from the hit nickelodeon show victorious um she was uh, oh my god star i love this show. i feel like you're my publicist right now this is amazing am, am i doing good am i uh, am i presenting you're, doing, it well? you're, you're killing it peter tori vega guys don't worry too we will get a, a nice little sneak peek of, of one of victoria's newest songs that she just released so you guys get to look forward to that <laughs> <laughs> absolutely not absolutely not because no. she's not too fucking nice so so don't worry um, <laughs> no so yeah so victoria you guys probably you know her from from nickelodeon and she's done many movies since then um she's uh launched a great music career as well uh very successful and so for me Thanks, yeah it's definitely it was really cool just because you come out and like this is pre, you know pre before anything really happened right and you know just to like know you from back then and just see just like how well you've like handled everything and like the, just the humility still that you've kept the whole way. And, you know, some people can have all the success thrust upon them and whatnot, and they can just turn into like, you know, asshole or just conceited or whatnot. You're the exact opposite of that. You've just maintained just the sweetness about you every step of the way. And and then obviously, you know, yeah, we lost touch for a while. And I think, I think, yeah, maybe I was like, huh, I wonder what like Vic's going to be like, if like, it's just going to be like, you know, how it used to be with us when we were younger. And honestly, it was like that. It was like, no, yeah. weird notions or whatnot uh, it was just super cool to catch up and start filling each other in again yeah. on like what's going on and yeah so definitely props yeah to you for that. oh thanks peter and likewise it was so great like reconnecting with you guys and it really felt like you know it just felt so familiar and so comfortable and um and i'm so glad that me you and my mom and your mom and all of us have just like started hanging out again it's been really fun yeah yeah l- last couple <laughs> years we would uh we'd watch some uh some bachelor episodes 
That was good. We you guys, did. You you came over for that for this for the very the premiere episode. You yeah, I got to see the premiere Bachelor episode, Peter season. What do you think of the new season right now? Um, I like it. the The first episode I feel like is always kind of rocky, and I was kind of like, eh, I don't know about this. Yeah. The second episode I I really liked a lot more, and I feel like I kind of. You know, you kind of get to see like the guys' personalities more, which makes them more interesting and relatable. And mm-hmm. and I also just really like Katie. I think she's she seems like such a like a genuine, sweet, cool girl. She really yeah. does. Yeah, she's got that root, root, root ability for sure. Who's your favorite so far, Victoria? My favorite guy. Um, well, I mean, I would say the person that won me over in the last episode would have to be um, Mike. The guy who's, yeah. you know, 31 the and the virgin, the 31 year old virgin. Exactly. Um, yep. I thought the way he like handled, I mean, obviously it was so obvious that the reason why, you know, these producers set up that whole date was solely to make him uncomfortable, yep. um, which I felt kind of bad about for him, but you know, he, but he turned it around and absolutely killed it. Like the he, best way possible. He killed it. He did such a great job and he came across as so mature and like a real man and saying things that were so sweet and genuine and he came across so deep and it was awesome. I was like, who wouldn't want that in a guy? Like this guy just totally is like leaps and bounds ahead of the pack. Like if I were her, I would be like, that's awesome. Like he handled that with such class. I took notes for sure. That was a great poem. I wrote that shit down. I was like, oh, definitely using this. Oh, that's good right there. No, I... (laughs) I'm definitely a big Mike fan. All right, I got a quick question for 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 you, Vic. Um, uh-huh. Let's just you know put this you know let's just hypothetically Dustin's the Bachelor. Okay, you've been cast as a contestant. Okay. Oh my God, right? Peter, what are you even <laughs> doing to me right now? You've been, you've been cast <laughs> as a contestant. I mean, I, I'd, I'd say I was Bachelor, but I can't be it twice, right? So Dustin's the Bachelor, and um, you're right. a contestant. I like what, this. I like. Keep talking. Keep what, talking. <laughs> what, what, what is your night one intro? Uh, we all had to do oh it. We gosh. had to go through it. What is your night one intro? Being a fan of the show, Ooh, you've kind of seen stuff. Um, yeah. Truly, like, what would what would you do? You see, you walk up, you get out of the limo, you're looking beautiful in your gown or whatnot. You see Dustin looking dashing in his in his in his tux. What are you doing? Yeah, dapper AF. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> um, what about? I mean, I feel like my personality, like I wouldn't really want to do anything weird or like show up in a costume. I don't think that's like really my vibe. You wouldn't show up in a cat suit? No, definitely not. No. no. Okay. Maybe a snail suit. You know how much I love snails. Hey. Um, that's like hot. It. That's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Just like walking up to you really <laughs> slow. I feel like they, they, uh, did, they did that one at one season with the girl with the sloth. She did that. It was like, yeah, yeah. sloths oh, yeah. are hilarious. I love sloths. But no, I would probably just like, ha- I would have like a genuine approach and I don't know. Just trying yeah. to say something heartfelt, I guess. After you, you said, after like hearing this, Peter, what you should do to set her up for success is be like, hey, bring his dog. I'm going to give you his dog. You're going to walk out of the limo with Dude, his you're dog. Still, you're still in my Sophia. thunder. I was going to, I was going to tell her right there how to, how to win your heart over. <laughs> All right. And I would have been like, you win right now. Let's go. That's, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> so is the way over. to Sorry. But no, I totally see you. That would have been you. You've been very classy Aww. and like, yeah, heartfelt and not, no gimmicks. What did or anything. you do, Peter? I forgot. You forgot. It's Peter fucking Weber. I forgot it. Come on now. It's Peter fucking Weber. I know. How dare I? Uh, <laughs> this, this 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 cursing chip tip jar is getting close, Pete. Oh, oh shit! I didn't see that by you. Why'd you do that to me, Vic? We have this new thing going with the because uh, normally Dusty's <laughs> the one that's always cursing, and we have a tip jar or not tip jar, a curse jar. Anyways, yeah. I did the wings. Are we allowed to curse at all? I mean, to, to be honest, I don't really curse a lot either, but you know, coming from sometimes the girl it feels that just right. It's too fucking nice. I know. It's too fucking nice. <laughs> I did. I did. I love that song. Which, which actually, we, that's a good segue. Real quick, I did the wings, but um, I like I like your approach. I feel like you'd kill it. If oh, you the wings. Did, so. Yes. Too fucking nice. Good, good segue. I love that song. I absolutely love that song. Thanks, Peter. I think everyone's loving it too. I remember when I you you showed you showed us it like a couple of weeks before it was coming out. Like this is this is gonna be such a banger. It's perfect for summer. It's like such a great vibe song. Thank um, you. So guys, definitely go out and listen to uh, "Stream Too Fucking Nice" by Victoria. Um, she doesn't cuss, but she cusses in that song. And uh, 
I it's, do. It's, it's a great song. It's just a bottle. song. Are you cursing it? I do, yeah. It's kind of like a song just about like people pleasing and not always, you know, standing up for yourself when you should, which I can sometimes relate to. So uh, I feel like it works in that song because it's talking about, you know, letting people kind of walk all over you sometimes. So I feel like saying like, I'm way too fucking nice is like a way of kind of being a little bit more aggressive and taking the power back. And also it's just, it's just kind of a fun song. And it's like the song that you want to listen to with like your windows down, driving like along the PCH or wherever you are. It's just like a very feel good kind of it's a song Goodbye. where I kind of just, I want to like, I want to put a Pikachu head on and I just want to dance like no one's watching, you know? <laughs> and I want to, I want to have some sparkling Pikachu out. Pikachu in the building. Pikachu, DJ Pikachu. Um, <laughs> it truly, it's just such a good, it's a dance song. Yeah, we kind of, some of you guys probably saw the music video. We just literally, it was just like on a whim. We were like one night there in Chicago, like, hey, let's make a music video. Yeah, that was so spontaneous. I think that was your idea because Renata's kids had all these big, like, giant stuffed animal heads and we just yeah. were throwing them on messing around and yep. just and randomly happened. I was happened. confused. I was like, what the hell? You're is... like, what is going on? It's super random, oh but it kind of these people it worked really, really well. Um, and then came out awesome. Had a couple of our friends there, it was too. Fun. Super cool. Yeah, and so... Yeah, it was well, let's really talk fun. about this. You guys are too cute and adorable. What's a... Is, are these rumors? Are you guys, like, dating? Or could you guys be dating? What's going on with this? I mean, I... <laughs> oh, my god! I'm just curious. I heard the rumors. Dating. You heard the rumors. No, I Peter rumors. and I are friends. We've been friends forever. We have been. Perfect. So... When you come to New York, you and I could go for drinks. <laughs> Dustin was so happy with that answer. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, man. Yeah, no, I'm it's, an opportunist. it's so just... funny. <laughs> I feel like the rumors have been spread like crazy. And like, yeah, people, I think people were just confused yeah. or whatnot. Yeah, they're like, what are they doing together? Yeah, we're, we we're rekindling our great friendship <laughs> we truly together? had. They're making Pikachu music videos. We're taking and we're taking baths together with clothes on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> taking fleas exactly. off. Exactly. <laughs> or are we? Or are no, I'm just kidding. Good I'm joking. Cheese, I'm joking. I'm joking. Love yeah. it. <laughs> I'm you? totally joking. Are you? This is a joke. Are you? I'm and joking. you guys heard it here from Bachelors in the City. <laughs> Victoria, stop blushing. Stop blushing. <laughs> oh my God. Peter, you stop blushing. <laughs> I'm bright as a tomato. <laughs> this is silly. Victoria, can you and me do it? Can you teach me how to sing? Peter yeah. Knows I love, I just like singing. I like doing karaoke. We should do a duet song together. I would love that. I love karaoke. When you come to New York, because you actually do need to come and visit, um, I know. Do karaoke night. I would love nothing more. Do you guys have like a go to karaoke song? Yours first. Everyone knows ours. What's yours? You can't pick your own what song. Is it? Gosh, yeah. I haven't done it in a minute. Uh, Man, I Feel Like a Woman by Shania Twain is always a good one. Yo, you're Let's really... Go girls. Yes, she does such a good impersonation. Go ahead. <laughs> Just a little tease. No, I'm too shy. <laughs> I see hey, Dustin girl. leaning in closer to the mug. No, I can't. <laughs> yes, you can. Like a woman. Man, I feel like a woman. Do you hear that? <laughs> Anyway, you, you do I'll, do, I'll go full out when we when I come to New York. All right. Oh, when you come when oh, you come to New York, you're 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 so busy. Where do you you're doing a lot of projects right now? I have yeah, I have a couple things coming up. Um, I'm really excited because I have a movie that I filmed last year during the pandemic for two months in South Africa. It's coming out towards the end of this year, like later this year. It's called Afterlife of the Party on Netflix. So I'm super excited about that. And then I'm doing um, another project, which I can't like fully talk about it yet because if we're still, you know, figuring it all out. But no, you can talk I'm gonna... about it. Go ahead. No one's listening. <laughs> no one's listening. It's a totally private conversation that no one That's will okay. ever hear. You can, you, you can tell them on your guys' first date, all right? You can just disclose it then, so... <laughs> Oh yeah, we're gonna Peter, talk. We're gonna talk a lot. What is happening? <laughs> I'm just kidding. This she's is amazing. Me, so she can't go on a date Peter's with you. Gonna so, he's gonna be so jealous. He's gonna be so mad. <laughs> <laughs> we can go. We can go on a double date. All of us bring we the dogs. It'll one. be really fun. We should bring it back oh, to two on one. It's gonna be tough. Right. I have to. I have a lot of making up to do. I mean, you guys had a whole lifetime of knowing each other. No, I just really have to... It's okay. I'll think of something good. Don't worry about it. I got this. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Yeah, we got this. Awesome, Vic. So you said so you have the movie coming out this summer, Netflix. Uh, yeah, later in this year. And then I'm leaving to do oh, something year. else. I'm traveling very far away, down under somewhere. Ooh. Down under, Mike. And, uh, yeah. And I'm That's excited. Awesome. I used to live in Australia, love. Did you really? Yeah, I used to live in Melbourne. <gasps> Melbourne. Melbourne, Australia. 
Melbourne is like the cool artsy area, right? Artsy. You have like all the cool. Like it's like the. I can't compare it to New York yet, but are you familiar with Chicago, right? A little bit. It's like Wicker Park, almost like in the St. Kilda area. And I don't know. It's a cool little vibe. I don't know. I, cool. I love Melbourne. Very, very cool. People are like Melbourne. nice and very creative and high fashion there as well. Oh, I love that. Vic, I can't wait to go and explore. Yeah. Speak in different cities because you um, obviously were... Our podcast is mainly about New York. Um, you spent a lot of time in New York. Uh-huh. You filmed a lot of movies out there. What? Just real quick, what's like I your have, yeah. favorite? What, whether it was filming something or just uh, vacation, whatnot. What's your favorite thing about New York? My favorite thing about New York? Oh my gosh, so many things. It's hard to even put into words. New York is one of my favorite cities in the entire world. There's no city like it. It's just the energy. I feel like you can't ever really be sad in New York because as soon as you step outside, the energy and there's so many different people and so many different cultures and it's just like there's so much stimulation happening that it's yeah. it's hard to like stay in your head, which I feel like is really good for me. Um, and I don't know. I mean, some of my favorite things, there are some Puerto Rican restaurants in New York that we've been wanting to take you and your mom to that yes. are so good. Um, and I also love the theater. The so theater. I love whenever I get to see the theater, darling. Yes. Um, your, I love when, when, when I get your, to see. <laughs> when's your Broadway uh, <laughs> premiere debut? <clears throat> Oh, gosh. I don't know. You know, I've had a couple opportunities in the past to do some Broadway stuff, but it it wasn't like the right time. I did musical theater when I was a kid, but I think one day I would definitely would love to do it because I I love it so much. But it's also very intimidating. Dude, do you remember, Dusty, you actually probably do remember this. Of course, you know, I I know you do. So when Dusty first and I first moved into New York, I think I texted you, right? I sent you a picture. We had no furniture. We had our air mattresses and we were literally had a TV and an air mattress. Priorities, right? My back was fucked. That's amazing. (laughs) But the the point of it is, is that we like, we like, we're really like, it was, you know, Feb or end of January, early February was really cold. Like, let's get like in the mood. Let's watch some awesome New York movies. And so we go on Netflix and then boom, we look up New York movies and we see your movie. It was the, uh, was it the no kiss list or something? Yeah, the in- no kiss list. Yes. And then we watched yeah. that movie. I think I remember texting that. And, um, you did. first time that I told you about Victoria, yeah, Dusty. And, uh, yeah, it was funny. We looked up New York movies Aww. and yours came up. We were, we, yeah, we were in the funny. empty apartment on the bare floor watching you just, yeah. <laughs> not, not kissing. <laughs> you know? yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> I love that you guys did that. That was a fun movie to film. I always love when I get to film stuff in New York because it's just the best. Where was the um, place where that restaurant that I think it was the, the most recent one? It was all the lights oh, hanging in down. Oh, Trust. In yeah. Trust. It was like this Indian restaurant. I can't remember the name of it, but I heard that it might it might not still be around after COVID and everything, which I hope isn't true. I think you did say that. That's but right. That just looks. It was so really cool. cool. There were like all these Christmas lights. Like it's like this tiny, tiny little restaurant, and there were just like all these colorful lights everywhere. It was so beautiful. It's one of my favorite scenes in the movie because it just looks so pretty. Yeah, it was a great movie too. Gotta Trust. Got to try that out. Yeah, yeah I got to find the name of that restaurant. I'll text you and let you know. Absolutely. Do you guys have a? Have you seen any shows? Do you have a favorite? Broadway show or something? So we it's still closed right now, but my all-time favorite musical is Once. Did you ever see that? Once. Falling Take slowly. this broken oh, and, and boy, it home. Yeah, home. We've still <laughs> we've got... Still got, got That's hot. That's hot. <laughs> it's just such a good, good song. I've seen it twice, and I'm, I'm pissed. They, it, I think they took it off Broadway. I don't know why. Oh. Uh, That's a really good one. If you could do the accent, I'm sure you could. You'd make a great. I forgot her name now. The character, the other. Um, well, that sounds like the, the show the really made an impact on you, Peter. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm, just kidding. <laughs> I'm really bad with names. All right, I'm really bad with names. But <laughs> joking, it made I'm me joking. feel okay. That's what that's what art's supposed to do, right? That, it made me that feel. truly is the most important feel. thing. That's the best. It's the best. Vic, go film your movies. I get it. You're busy, but make it back to New York, and we're, we're gonna, gonna have a, a karaoke night. Um, oh my god, yes! And Broadway night, and maybe if that Broadway restaurant's night. open, we can go to that restaurant on a two-on-one with our dogs. Let's do it. I'm so sing excited. Aladdin. I love singing Aladdin with people. Oh, I love Aladdin. Which song? The uh, I Uh-oh. Can Show You the World. Well, I Can Show You a World. Ooh, I'm liking this. Yeah, I'm going to sit back in the popcorn. 
Yeah, we'll do that. It's good stuff. Go, Peter. You know it. Now, I, when yeah, did I'm getting shy. You last? I'm get, let I'll sing. I'm too fucking nice. Even when I know I'm right. <laughs> yes. We're you guys have a good time. We'll have a great time. We're going to have lots of fun. I'm, I can't wait. Well, Vic, thank you so much for coming on with us. Uh, this has been thank a blast. You so much. Of course. And I'm not nervous missing. anymore. I feel I feel like we know each other now. So I know. This connection is weird. This this is a it, this connection like you and like it's it's weird, right? Are you feeling Vic, this? I think connection? he's like, really got a crush like, on you. <laughs> like he's crushing hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking. But no, it was great having you on here. Thank you so much. We know you're super busy. It means the world to us that you came on Truly. here and just uh, shared some of your time. No worries. I'm so glad I got to talk to you guys and you guys are killing it with this podcast. It's so fun. And Peter, I'm so happy for you and like all the cool, amazing things that you're doing. And, um, anytime, you know, I'm always down to chat, hang out. Love you, Vic. We want to see you soon in New York. Best of luck with, uh, with filming. And uh, I can't wait to scare you again. All right. Thanks guys. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, Peter. Watch your back. back. That's all I'm going to say. Watch your back. (laughs) <laughs> Victoria, I got you. Victoria, I don't I got want to make you. you cry again, Peter. I, I just don't want to do that to you. I, it, Victoria, that, don't worry. I just give up him. on life. I'll get him for you. Don't even worry about it. I'm going to okay, get him for please you. Please film it and send it to me. Yeah. I will send it you, to you. You do that, okay. you're not going to have a good. roommate for much longer. So maybe Vic will move in with you. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> okay.